Hi everyone, I'm Clove from Chai and Crochet. Today we have a much requested pattern to make your own worm on a string plush, or snurber as the rainbow guy who popularized it is called. This is my first long video, so please be patient with me. I wrote this pattern myself and it is also totally free on my Instagram. I'm just making this video because several people have asked. This pattern only has the most basic stitches you need for amigurumi or crochet toys. I record myself doing them, but it is not really a tutorial for the stitches as there are plenty of those already available. If you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, I do have instructions on how to modify this pattern to give your worm stripes of different thicknesses. It's set up in pride flags as I wrote it to be a pride modification, but any colors will work. Let's get into it. Here's the materials that you're going to need. Obviously you're going to use yarn. I'm using these four colors. You can use any colors as long as you make sure the yarn's all the same weight. And that you have a hook that matches the yarn weight. You also need a stitch marker. I'm using a size L or 8mm hook and Bernat blanket yarn. You also need stuffing, a yarn or tapestry needle, and a good pair of scissors. So there are two different ways you can start your worm. The first one that I'm showing is a magic circle, which I do have a more detailed tutorial for up on my channel. I prefer to use the second method though. Especially when you're working with plush or velvet yarn, I find it's way easier to use the chain two method. It's really simple. All you do is chain two and then place all your starting single crochets into the second chain. Here I am making my first single crochet into the chain for the first chain that I made, or the second chain from my hook. Remember to put your stitch marker in there so you keep track. We're starting the worm off with four single crochet into our either magic loop or chain two. Now that I've got all four, I'll just tighten it up a little bit, and if you're doing a magic circle, you'll definitely need to do that part. Now we're starting the second round of our worm, making this snoot. We're going to place four single crochets, one into each of the original four. We're also going to do this for the next four rows for a total of six rows of four single crochet. As long as you don't forget to flip your piece inside out, making sure that the tail is on the inside, it should look like a cylinder by the end of these few rounds. For round seven, we're going to place one single crochet, and then we're going to increase, which is putting two single crochets into one stitch. We're going to do that twice, that sequence, single crochet, increase, two times, and that's going to make six stitches by the end of the round. is also going to be a single crochet and then an increase, but we're going to repeat it three times for a total of nine single crochet stitches. and then we're going to increase. And we're going to repeat that three times for a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. I have all 12, but I am making a four colored worm with eight total stripes, so I'm going to change colors after this round. You don't have to do this if you aren't changing colors. 
Here's me performing a color change where I only leave two loops on the hook. I cut the yarn and then I will attach the next yarn. In this case, the yarn that I'm using next is gray. I'm going to tie it onto the remaining strand of black yarn and pull it down to the bottom. For round 11, we're going to do two single crochet and then an increase, and we're going to repeat this five times for a total of 20 stitches at the end of the round. For round 12, we're going to do four single crochet and then an increase, and we're going to repeat this four times for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round. where you go through the front loop of the next two stitches and then work that as if it were just one loop in a regular stitch. Now we'll do another 13 single crochet and then one more decrease to finish the round with a total of 28 stitches. The next five rounds, or rounds 26 through 30, will also be 26 single crochet. 
Round 31 will be 5 single crochet, a decrease, 11 single crochet, a decrease, and then 6 single crochet. It's divided up like this to prevent the worm from decreasing too much on the sides and getting flat. You will end with 24 stitches after this round is done. single crochet followed by a decrease. We will repeat this three times for a total of 21 stitches at the end of the round. rounds or round 38 through 42 will also be 21 single crochet. Make sure you stuff as you go otherwise your worm will be very flat instead of squishy and huggable like we want them to be. Round 43 will be five single crochet and then a decrease. We'll do this three times for a total of 18 stitches at the end of the round. The next five rounds, or 50 through 54, will also be 16 single crochet. Sorry about the lighting change and the dramatic shadows now, but it is night all of a sudden. Round 55 will be three single crochet and then a decrease. We'll repeat this three times for a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. Next five rounds, or 56 through 60, will also be 12 single crochet. Round 61 will be two single crochet and then a decrease. We will repeat this three times for a total of nine stitches at the end of the round. The next five rounds, or rounds 62 through 66, will also be nine single crochet. Round 67 will be a single crochet and a decrease. We'll repeat this two times for a total of six stitches at the end of the round. The next five rounds, around 68 through 72, will also be six single crochet. At the end of round 72, we will make sure that any stuffing that we want is inside the worm and then we will do three last decreases. This will seal off our worm, ending us with three single crochet.
Once you've completed the three decreases, you can cut or break your yarn and pull your hook through, fastening off your piece. You're now done doing the crochet part of making the worm. Next, we're going to attach the eyes, so get a hot glue gun and some googly eyes. Once you've finished this step, you're finally done with your worm. I'm very proud of you. I'd love to be tagged if you post pictures or videos of your worm. Make sure you credit me for designing the pattern. Here's a fun fact about these worms. Their very long snoots are extremely adept at smelling fear.